Welcome back. Specialized medical schools in South Africa are quite few and far in between. But now Nelson Mandela University will be establishing the country's 10th medical school. Applications will be open in January. But for more on this, Professor Cheryl Foxcroft, Nelson Mandela University's Deputy Vice Chancellor, joins us now to, of course, share some of these good news. Prof, thank you so much for your time. Good morning. And I suppose congratulations to you and your team. You surely must be ecstatic that not only is the med school opening, I understand, at Missionville campus, but also it comes at such a time where there's so much pressure in our healthcare system. And of course, this new cohort is needed at this time. Absolutely. Good morning and good morning to the viewers. We are really and truly excited. It's been a long, long journey. Our viewers might not know that, in fact, in 1946, the City Council of Port Elizabeth decided that there should be a medical school in the city. At that stage, there wasn't even a university. And it was a long road with many challenges, and the dream didn't seem to be going to be happening until 2013, when the Council of Nelson Mandela University made the bold decision to pursue the big dream that our city council had so many decades before. Mm. And a lot of hard work has gone into the preparations to get firstly all the approvals in place from the three tiers of government, as well as from all the different regulatory bodies. In that process, we had reviews of our curriculum, our infrastructure, our equipment, as well as the staffing that we've been putting in place and eventually everything has come together and we are in the position now to accept the first cohort into this very unique program that is settled, set, set in our Mission Vale campus, which is in the heart of the township communities of our city and very close to Doran Ginza and Livingston hospitals. So we aim to be a beacon of hope to serve the underserved communities in our city, as well as in the province and the country. Right. And I understand that, you know, the first uh, cohort will um, obviously be enrolled as, as soon as, you know, the 2021 academic year. We're talking the 6th of January. Are you ready for that intake? Yes. Um, very important about the intake, our philosophy is to be community focused. And so our intake will actually have 60% of learners and students from Punta 1 to 3 schools, which schools are the often the most underserved, underprivileged schools. And so we are making good on our promise to serve the underserved by including a large percentage of students then from Punta 1 to 3 schools. The applications will open on the 6th of January probably be open for about three to four weeks and then we'll make the selection so that we are ready come the beginning of March to welcome our first cohort of 50 students to our program. Yeah. And just before I let you go, Prof, I mean, how important is it to open up? I know that registrations are in January, but obviously March will then be the beginning of the academic year. But how important is it for the university to open at such a significant time in South Africa's history? Not only are we dealing with the pandemic, but even the healthcare you know, sector has been heavily impacted by COVID-19. I mean, even losing some of your colleagues within the sector. Incredibly important. We need more health professionals. We, in fact, expanded the range of health professions that we cater for in our Faculty of Health Sciences. We now, with the medical program, have 11 different professions that we cater for. And what's furthermore important is that, as we've seen in COVID-19, it is the underserved communities where the challenges around healthcare have been foremost. And this particular program then will be focused on community-based learning where right from the first year, our medical students will actually be in real life situations as well as simulated situations at, with the community health focus, for example. So we see this as an incredibly important moment to contribute to the country. 
we also in future aim to to be training medical specialists mm. and we will also ramp up the research which is also desperately needed in this time all right well congratulations to you wish you all the best and of course to the new students for next year professor cheryl foscroft nelson mandela university's deputy vice chancellor of course in learning and teaching department